Before you start construction, be sure to read, understand, and follow all the safety instructions that come with your power tools. Align a sheet of quarter inch plywood on the center edge of the middle flat bottom stud. It should also overlap the center of the bottom transition studs. To make it easy when driving screws, mark the plywood at each stud and snap a chalk line from end to end along the seven studs. Attach a one inch screw to the corner end and drive screws every 10 inches along each edge. Then drive additional screws into the support studs every 10 inches. It is not necessary to drive screws into the short cross support studs. Attach the second sheet of plywood in the same manner as the first. Dry place a sheet of plywood at 90 degrees to the transition. If your measurements were correct, the top edge of the plywood should line up with the center of a transition stud. If not, it's not a problem. You have two options. One, simply correct it by adding a stud at the required location. Or two, remove the stud and reposition it so that the plywood overlaps at halfway. You'll also notice that the plywood overhangs each end of the transition about an inch and a quarter. This is okay. You don't need to cut it off. Quarter inch plywood is fairly easy to bend along the transition as long as you are bending it along its four foot side and not the eight foot side. But if for some reason you are having trouble bending it, boil a pot of water and pour it on the plywood. Let it soak for about 20 minutes. It will be more flexible this way. Mark and snap more chalk lines along the transition plywood from end to end, just like you did on the flat bottom. Secure the transition plywood to the frame using one inch screws every 10 inches or so. Dry place another sheet of plywood to the upper portion of the transition. Again, mark the center of the studs at each end of the plywood and one more at the top of the highest transition stud where the coping will be located. You will cut off the plywood past this stud. Remove the plywood and snap a chalk line between the two top marks. Then cut along the line. Attach the top sheet of plywood to the transition in the same manner as the previous one. Repeat these steps for both transitions. To watch the next step in building your ramp, just click on the link in the video. We hope these videos are helpful. For the whole kit, including the step-by-step -step DVD, step-by-step -step manual, materials list, and poster-sized blueprints, including ramp mods like a six-foot with vert, spines, and more, go to easyhalfpipe.com.